Uh, I am Ish Monroe, and we are going to talk about power fishing. But before we get into power fishing, which is kind of, uh, I guess, a topic we've gone over with Wesley already because he powered up, uh, I'm going to talk about it fishing in the free spawn. Uh, a couple of things I want to get into uh, before we even get into this is some of the basics that I think you guys need to know. Uh, important things such as knots. Uh, one knot, you need to learn to tie. Single polymer knot. How many guys know how to tie a polymer knot? Good. How many guys know how to tie a double polymer knot? A couple. So very, very simple. The double polymer knot is a knot that I use for when I'm tying braid to a lure. And a single polymer knot will slip on you. So learning to tie a double polymer knot is basically, we all know how to get the loop on this end and the tag in on this end, is taking that loop and going back through the eye for a second time. And what that's going to do is help clinch that knot down super duper tight. So simple, easy, we all got that? Perfect. Another knot you need to tie, learn to tie is a snail knot for when you're flipping and pitching. Learning to tie a snail knot is going to increase your hookup ratio because what you're going to do is when you tie that snail knot, you're going to have your weight up here and the hook down here and tying that snail is going to create a cavitation upwards to help increase your hookup percentages. So just, I like to get into knots because those are the three knots that I tie all the time for everything and it pretty much covers all the bases. So single polymer for when I'm tying mono and fluoro, double polymer for when I'm tying braid, any time that I'm flipping and pitching or throwing a Texas rig, I learn to tie a snell knot. So let's get into power fishing the pre-spawn. Most important part of power fishing the pre-spawn is location because you can be where the bass are not. The bass have to be there. Figuring out where they're going to be is hugely important. In the pre-spawn, the pre-spawn is basically the transition from going from their winter patterns to their spawning patterns. It's the in-between location. The great part that I love about the pre-spawn is that most of the time the fish are coming to you. And so figuring out exactly where that is at. So as you can see, Post-spawn and winter are usually the main part of the basis of the lake itself, which is all this area out here. Getting to the pre-spawn is where they're going to head to where they're going to spawn at. And so what you're looking for is what I call the areas leading to the backs of the pockets, the areas leading to the coves. So a lot of pre-spawn areas are going to be secondary points leading to the spawning pockets. This would actually be considered a secondary point because there will be some fish that spawn on the main lake. So you're gonna make sure that you're in that location. Location is huge for any time of year of any time of the water that you're fishing. Any questions so far? I like it. Pre-spawn conditions, time of year. Basically, pre-spawn starts anywhere, what I consider, depending on the part of the country that you're in, January to May. January, when you're starting out in Florida, May is when you're talking about being up north, is considered pre-spawn conditions. For you guys, local area around here, May is post-spawn. So for you guys, in between being that late February, early March, all depending on what we call the water temperature. Water temperature for me in pre-spawn usually starts out at that low 50 degree water temperature. What a lot of people don't know is bass will spawn in 55, 56 degree water temperature. Those are usually the bigger females. The reason is for them that water temperature starts to warm up, they're moving up. Big fish like to spawn when there's not a lot of people on the water. You guys know this. In the springtime, there. It's Mike Iaconelli. This is Bash U TV. Here's what's awesome about Bash U TV. You get the top instructors. Real tools that help you catch more fish consistently. And that's why you want to check out Bash U TV. Join the Bass U family. Welcome to Bass U TV.